The book looks at the rise of uh, birth control activism in the Caribbean uh, on four islands, Jamaica, Bermuda, Barbados, and Trinidad from the 1930s to 70s. So it starts with uh, the rise of debates over birth control in the 1930s in a period of a lot of labor activism, the, the beginning of nationalist movements and decolonization in the region. It looks at the creation of early clinics and family planning associations in the following decades, and then the rise of state funding for birth control and international aid in the 1960s and 70s. And I think it's important uh, both to understanding the process of decolonization in the, in the Caribbean and some of the wider debates that were sparked by that movement uh, beyond the kind of classic discussions of constitutional amendments and suffrage. Uh, it was also shaped by concerns over gender and reproduction. And I think it's also important for understanding uh, reprodu reproductive politics today in the Caribbean, but also in other areas uh, that saw a kind of similar uh, rise of activism in this period.